In this video we're going to look at esterns crossing from Eddy to Eddy on the river. It is very different to a ferry glide where we would maintain an angle throughout the move across the river. Here we do one partial eddy turn followed by a second to make an S shape to cross the river. Looking at the situation here we have shallow water on the far bank which is pushing current this way and this rock ledge protrudes in from the near bank. And typically this constricted flow creates a downstream pointing V with an eddy on either side. Interestingly and typically it creates waves in the area beyond the downstream V and that jet of water, that confined jet of water continues for some way downstream. To make the move we need a combination of speed and that can be built up in the eddy, an angle to the current and then edge. Before I hit the fast water I have to have the boat edged. Because it's effectively an eddy turn at this start the boat is going to try and turn to its left therefore it must be edged to the left. So there is more weight onto my left knee and I'm letting the right side of the boat happens to be the upstream side of the boat rise up. This way the water doesn't trip me up. As I enter the eddy on the far side of the jet then that edge, that original edge is working against me. I need to first of all flatten the boat and then put it onto its opposing edge leaning into the turn again. The key moment for the switch is when my bum enters into the slower water. The water has done most of the work but just to tidy it up and finish it, I use a crossbow drawer. Boat is well lent over to its right. There, enter the slower water and shift the weight again. The key being bum entering the eddy. I can make it easier still, but rather than just paddle straight out, if I can identify a wave, that will do some of the work as well. A semi-surf and on into the S-turn and a tidy up with a cross bow. Swap of hands to make life easy. Again, identify a wave that will help a little bit. push into the eddy and quite an obvious change of edge, tidy up. This time I've got the paddle on the outside of the move. And that can be helpful in some situations but it's putting me on the wrong edge. Here about to enter the current, onto the correct edge across a wave and there's the S turn again. Certainly when we're surfing a wave then having the, the paddle on the more upstream of the sides is something that you need to get used to, so practicing it on the easier S turns is useful. Same applies when we do this tandem, We've got to get good lean or edge to one side and then back to the other side. But the key movement is when the bum of the stern paddler reaches the change in water. Here we go, good lean to the right, maintaining it. Now the stern paddler comes into an eddy. That's the key for the switch of edge. Edging in the correct direction is what gives you stability. Have the boat flat or edge the wrong way, the water will trip you and it's swim time. The paddlers are actually taking their time. Uh, they're new to working together in a tandem boat 
So that little discussion before they actually start on the move each time to make sure they've got the same plan and they're going to coordinate. Nicely done. Good bow draw to finish and tidy up. So there we have it, the S-turn, one of those really useful white water moves. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please comment or press the like button and of course you can subscribe. My own book, Canoeing, is available directly from myself or from Amazon and other retailers. You can support the channel, if you'd like, by going to buymeacoffee.com. The link is also in the description below this video. Thank you very much indeed.